Good morning all. I don't even know what the time is. Oh god. What you see in front of you is a reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder. My latest acquisition. I've got another one actually I need to work on but I thought I'd plug this one in. I mean this is from oh, probably 1961 and it's made by a company called Elizabethan. Elizabethan Automatic. That means automatic level record so when you start recording on it uh, you don't have to adjust any levels so it's got one of these old-fashioned magic eyes look at that isn't that cool wow and uh, it's all valves or as you say in the, in the states all tubes it's a tube amp inside and i think i need to change a whole load of uh, capacitors because the volume is not brilliant it should be very loud but um so i think i need to change the capacitors I shouldn't really keep it on to be honest because I might damage uh, some of the tubes inside you know if the capacitors are the wrong value or whatever I could cause damage but I just wanted to try the mechanism to see if the actual mechanism is alright and guess what I'm trying uh, here we go I'm using that tape you know the one I use on the other one that uh, Scottish or Irish music I don't know I think, it's, I think it's more Scottish I don't know but this is from 1961 Elizabethan Elizabethan and it was made in a company about four miles away from here in a place called Romford in East London and uh, it's a bit noisy can you hear that but it's to be expected this is from 1961 I mean god how many years is that from now I'm no good at maths tell me <laughs> it's a long time anyway so let's try the uh, rewind yeah. look at that <laughs> I don't have to do anything with the drive belt look at that it's never been serviced, I'm sure. Oh, that was working just now. Hang on a minute. Oh, shit. That was working. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's dirty contacts. Oh, I don't know. I might have to change the belts. I was a lot faster earlier on. Come on, baby. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Mm, a bit sluggish. I might have to just service the belts. Maybe give them a good clean up, some rubber restore or something like that. Come on, you can do it. I know you've been asleep for a long time. Come on, baby, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Even the counter still works. It's amazing. Oh, let me kneel down. My workbench is full up at the moment. I've got that Sanyo on there. Look at that. Even the counter's working. That is a miracle. Oh, I love these old machines. The smell of them as well. It's got this covering. This vinyl covering, it's called Rexine, and they've got a unique smell about it. It's just a smell of the 1960s, the early 60s and 50s. And it's a four track, look at that. So you can switch between one and four. So you can turn the tape over, in other words, play the other side, and record on the other side. And you can press two and three, and you can do the same thing again. So you can rewind to the beginning, record again, and then record again. You know, it's great. It's a great machine. The uh, volume's very scratchy, you should hear it, oh my god. Shall I put it up and need, Let me put it on play first, thing Because it's so scratchy, everything needs cleaning, it's in state. But it plays. What the hell? The volume, listen to this when I turn this up. Get ready for it. it nearly blew the speaker earlier on, it's so noisy. Ah. Shit. You know what, it's amazing it works at all to be honest. What about the tone? Does that work? The tone don't seem to work so it's definitely capacitors because capacitors actually uh, that's how tone controls work, they work on capacitors. You've got capacitors out of value lots. So not doing a thing. No bass. Yeah, just change all the capacitors. Right. I better turn it off now because you know well if the capacitors are gone, whatever, it uh, puts all the wrong voltages in the wrong place and it could burn out the uh, valves prematurely so you know what i'm not going to turn it off now 
Can I turn it off? Yeah. And let me see, off is that. Let's have a look. Here we go. A blast from the past. Cool, eh? You don't see many of these around nowadays, I'm telling you. Oh, nice and quiet. <laughs> uh, while I'm here, I might as well. Oh, oh God. Oh, shit. I've got to get off the floor. My poor knees, I'm in a mess. Oh, look at that. You like my gold record? That's uh, Let It Be. The Beatles. Yeah, I'm really Paul McCartney, you know. I didn't tell you, but I thought I'd keep it a little secret. No, nah, not really. It's a reproduction of uh, a gold record, obviously, which is worth quite a lot of money, actually, even the repro. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me. Oh, there he is. There he is, the Hulk. <laughs> me, the Hulk. Oh, I'll be back. Right, that's not I'll be back. That's Arnold, isn't it? I'll be back. Come on, Harvey. Right, Alexa, what's the weather like today? Oh, and it's ignoring me. Thank you very much. Alexa, what is the weather like today? In London, it's 8 degrees Celsius Shit. with partly sunny skies. Today, you can expect intermittent clouds with a high of 9 degrees and a low of 4 degrees. Right, in other words, it's freaking cold. Sure. Okay. Right, let's have a look outside. I should go outside, really, but is there any viruses out there for me to catch? Yeah. Sunny, look at that. No rain, at least. No rain for Harvey. Give it to me. No, don't give it to me. Delicious ice cream of Italy. Arida chocca cream. Give me cornet. From Walls Ice Cream. Oh, shut up, Harvey. Oh, right, there we go. Yes, I'm going to get rid of these nets. <laughs> if that's what you're wondering. Oh, look at this. Look, buds on the trees. Woo, look at that. Spring is here. Spring is here. Look at the buds. Oh, I love when I see that. Ah, oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Makes you feel good. Whoops, just knocked something over. Ah, oh. so although we got this coronavirus crap and all that, you know what? Well, just try to ignore it. Just try to ignore it. And um, you know, I've got to go to the stores on Monday. I'm going early, see if I get some supplies in because I'm running out fast. Otherwise, it'd be a walking skeleton in this house doing these weather forecast things. Because I'm running out of food, man. I'm running out of food. What am I going to do? Oh, uh, it's all right. I'm a survivor. I'll always survive in any situation. You can throw me in the middle of the desert. You know what? I'll find a way to survive. Anyway. All right, then, guys. Uh, hope you're having a great day. And try not to get... Try not to let the uh, coronavirus get you down, in other words, should I say. Ah, so it's uh, half past ten. Oh, that's why I can't even put two words together. Too early for me. Go have my coffee. My coffee. Go have my coffee, as I say in New York. My cup of coffee. Two dirty piper boys boiping and choiping. <laughs> Someone taught me that rhyme. They said, if you want to learn how a New Yorker speaks, uh, just say that little phrase, that little rhyme. Two dirty piper boys boiping and choiping. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Does that sound shit or what? <laughs> oh, these nets. Oh, right, I'm off. All right, then, guys, enjoy your day. All right, then, have a good one. Ciao for now. Yeah, why not say ciao? I'm bloody half Italian. Why do I keep saying bye for now? Ciao. Ciao, mi amici. Io ti voglio bene. That means I love you all. All right? Okay. Ciao. Ciao, ciao.